Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss one very interesting program in string and that is calculate sum of all number present in a string, okay, in Java. So what is that? Suppose our input string is 1 a b c 2 3, then this 1 is 1 integer and 2 3 this consecutive 2 integers are making 23. So 23 plus 1 output should be 24. Like that, suppose our input string is 1 a b c 2 x 3 0 y z 67, then 1 is one integer 2 is one separate integer then 3 and 0 although the, there is no existence of 30 in string but actually we can understand this is 30 right and here this is 67 so 67 plus 30 plus 1 is equal to 100 but if you are considering this as one input string there is nothing called 67 that is basically 6 and 7 all right because string uh, uses like that only so what is the algorithm so that we can perform this one see very simple just you just take this particular input 1 a b c 23 what we can do we can implement this program very easily using the concept of word extraction from a string which i already discussed in my previous video if you want to know the detailed explanation of the word extraction from a string please go through the link given in the description okay because that video is going to be very helpful to understand this particular algorithm okay so see one so first we will traverse uh, from the beginning of the string to the end or to the uh, length of the string and we will extract each and every character so first we will extract one and then we will check whether this is this particular character lies in the if we convert this particular character into integer then we will check that integer lies in the range from 0 to 9 or not or you can say like this that if that particular character lies in the range from 48 to 57 or not. Now we will ask why this range is important. See, in ASCII table, as we are dealing with strings and characters, obviously we need help of ASCII. See, 0 starts from 48 and, and ends this table, this particular table that is starting from 0 to 9 which is basically a range from 48 to 57 so we will check that whether our uh, that particular character lies in the range of 48 to 57 or not if it happens what we'll do we'll concatenate that particular character in one uh, string which we can define as empty string before execution uh, we'll concatenate that character in the string b or some other variable name you can give then if the particular extracted character somewhere uh, does not satisfy this particular condition that is if the particular character uh, does not uh, lie in between 48 to 57 what we will do we will uh, convert that particular uh, string which is stored in b that we will convert into integer and that integer we will add like this t equal to t plus b so at the end of the execution uh, from the starting to the ending of the string what will happen at t our all the addition of the integers will be stored okay so one thing you may uh, think that 2 and 3 how the, uh, for this particular part how it can work very simple same way suppose uh, after extraction uh, after extracting c you observe that okay c is not lying in the range of 48 to 57 so it will go to next character that is 2 2 lies in the range of 48 to 57 right because see here uh, 2 is corresponding to 50 okay so 2 is satisfying this particular concatenator condition so we will define our b uh, we will concatenate that is b is equal to b plus a dot caret i you can write or here let me write directly b is equal to b plus 2 so now in b 2 is basically stored right now it will again extract the next character when next character is 3 3 also lies in the range 48 to 57 in ascii table so again it will con concatenate 23 is stored in b and then what we can do as i have told you that we are going to use word extraction algorithm from a string so we will add one what space at the end so basically when space will be extracted which is whose ascii value is 32 right see here space ascii value in the beginning itself it is given space ascii value is 32 so if 32 comes that means uh, it is not in the range of 40 to 57 it will break that and t is equal to t plus t will be performed that's all in this way our code will work so let us check so see 
here I have written the very simple program import java.io.star then class exa I have given one class name exa you can give according to your choice then public static void main string args throws io exception why throws io exception because for taking input of the particular sentence I or string I am going to use the buffer reader class not scanner class because I have personally observed that uh, if you uh, work with scanner class in the string related input you may get some time error okay that better to use buffer reader so buffer reader r equal to new buffer reader in new input stream reader system dot in then stream a equal to r dot read line we are storing our input in a variable a equal to a plus one space as i have just shown you in algorithm uh, that we have to add one extra space at the end of the execution if you want to know why please go through the link uh, of the uh, video which I will provide in the description there I have explained in detail for what instruction this particular line is required then in t equal to 0 basically t will store all the addition result of the integers in our particular string then string b equal to one empty string we are defining in tail equal to a dot length we are calculating the length of our input then for int i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus we are traversing from the beginning to the ending in m equal to int a dot caret i what this indicates int m equal to int or you can directly write int m equal to a dot uh, caret i okay so basically oh no uh, then comparison will be problem okay let it be so int m equal to int a dot caret i so what will happen a dot caret i one particular character will be extracted and it will be converted into integer integer means obviously ascii right because you know in this type cast, cast, casting method we can get the ascii value now if it is from 48 to 57 that is basically nothing but it is if it is from 0 to 9 b is equal to b plus caret i okay so basically we are concatenating else if here this is one important thing if uh, this particular condition is not satisfied then you might think that okay so let us give else but no if you give else then you will get some exceptions or exceptions what will that uh, i will explain later just uh, for the time being just try to understand this particular line else if b dot length not equal to zero that means if on after concatenation if b not equal to zero then int k equal to integer dot parse int b so we are basically converting our integer which is story which is stored as string in b variable to integer actual integer k so that we can perform some mathematical operations with that particular integer then t equal to t plus k we are just simply adding then b equal to again defining as one empty string as we do in word extraction from a string that's all now close the brackets accordingly and system dot out dot print ln t because at the end of the execution of the particular program in our t variable all the addition result of integers is going to be stored okay now why the b dot length is not equal to 0 is given because suppose uh, this particular if condition is not satisfied and b is one empty b is uh, uh, still one empty string like we defined earlier string b equal to empty string or here string b equal to empty string if you write only this uh, if you don't write this particular part and if you only write else then int a equal to integer dot parse int b when you will execute as b is one null or empty string this particular line will provide error because null has no particular integer this is null so how can you get some integer value so we have to confirm that this part this particular part will be exe executed only when b dot length is not equal to zero that is some value is stored at least in b okay that's all okay i hope you understood the program so let me execute this comment prompt go to comment prompt and then cd java then java c exa what was our class name exa right so exa dot java then java exa okay suppose let me give our test case for this particular scenario uh, this particular input let us give so control c i am just copying and pasting control v and enter c output is 100 okay so code is perfectly working let us check for some other cases also so um, this particular 1 a b c 2 3 so what will be the output 2 3 means 23 and plus 1 that is 24 so control c and test your control v click enter c 24 it is printing let us check some other values so suppose let me write uh, java 8 7 uh, okay java 8 let me write plus star uh, plus 8 then gh space 4 space 1 space 
dot 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 some random value I have given. So eight plus eight is sixteen. Uh, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty plus one twenty one should be expected output. Let us check. Click enter. See output is twenty one. Okay. So our code is perfectly working. I hope you have understood the algorithm. If you want to know the detailed explanation of word extraction from a string in Java, which is our base. A base algorithm for this particular part that is this particular part please go through the link given in the description okay for detailed explanation all right thank you for watching